This is actually a Achilles heel of heat pumps is you don't want to service a heat pump in the winter. It is so critical that we get it right to begin with and we service it when the time's ideal to service it because when it fails in the winter time, not only do technicians not want to service it in the winter because it's very hard to service the refrigeration in the winter in less than ideal conditions. There's no good outcome for this. You're going to have to use desiccant dryers to manage the moisture because you're not going to get it all out during an evacuation. You're going to have to add a liquid line sight glass with a moisture indicator to make sure that moisture got out. You could spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in service, which may be substandard, or you can wait and spend a few hundred dollars in electricity and fix it when the weather's more conducive to it. Can you perform surgery on the side of the road in an ambulance with less than ideal conditions? Yeah, if you absolutely have to, I guess you could, but would you want to do it? No, you want to be in a surgical room where we got all the surgical tools clean and ready and prepped and sterile, and you have an environment that's more conducive to a successful outcome. So they may have to run their backup heat for weeks, potentially, for some parts of the country. The odds of that happening are pretty low. 